Hello, to my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we arrived here on Citron Island, and Blue ran ahead, so let's go ahead and go after him. We are now inside of Citron Island. Hmm. The archaeologists and reporters have already made themselves a home. Look over there. Good morning, Poke News. This is Rubita, reporting live deep inside Citron Island Cave. I am here today with Nurse Joy and her archaeology team to uncover the mystery behind the recently found Kabuto fossils. Huh, let's TV. Let's check it out. You go enjoy your five minutes of glory. I'm going to find some fossil samples for Gramps. <laughs> well, there's no harm going on TV. So it looks like our character really wants to put on a show. Let's talk to them and see what's going on over here. Nurse Joy, dear may I ask, why you and your team chose to focus on the Kabuto fossils? Well, recent studies have shown that the oil coated on the Kabuto's fossils can promote good health and possibly immortality. Immortality? Haha, <laughs> that's it for today. This is Rubita, and we will be right back after the short break. And cut. Ooh, sorry about that. It's okay, young man. I've seen fans that are much worse. Let me introduce myself. I'm Rubita from Poco News. The guy holding the camera is Mike. Also, this is Nurse... Nurse Joy! Oh, how did you know? Uh, let's call it a hunch. Is it true that Kabuto's oils grant immortality? Oh, it's only a theory. I personally doubt it. If the oil does grant immortality, then they wouldn't be extinct today. Revita, Nurse Joy, we're going back on live in five minutes. I'm sorry, young man. We got work to do. Maybe we can all have a little chat after all this is over. Okay, cool. So it looks like... Rivita, Nurse Joy, everybody's here for these Kabuto fossils. It is a party over here in Citron Island looking for these Kabuto fossils. Looks, looks like there are a couple trainers here, but they aren't really out to battle. I was thinking there was going to be some more. This guy's name's Killian, too, which is pretty funny. That is my sister's husky's name. Pretty cool to see here in a game. Let's see what we can find down here, though. It looks like we are going to have our first battle. So I want to give you guys a big thank you for all of your tips and your comments. Make sure you go ahead and click that like button as it really does help the series. And let's go ahead and take this guy on. Good time to have Rocky up in front since we're going to be going up against some ghost Pokemon. And it looks like we're going to have a couple more battles inside of here, too. Definitely have your Aerodactyl ready if you have one. They help out a lot, and they are helping out a lot down here. Let's see if we can find any more over here. What? Why is Machoke just chilling? I don't know. I guess Machoke just like to hang out. You know, that, that's great to see. If they want to do that, by all means. We got TM28 Dig. So that's what we came down here for, for Dig? All right, I suppose that's okay. At least we got that TM. Let's go ahead and make our way back up then. And let's go out the right exit. Let's see if we can find where our friends went. We got to find them somewhere around here. There's Blue. Hmm. What's wrong with you? Jeez, can you say something next time when you see me? Noted. Any luck finding any Kabuto fossils? Huh, no. Same here. <sighs> The walls here are encrusted with Kabuto fossils, but they're too delicate to do any thorough studying on. Let's just go. The Orange Cup is starting four weeks. Huh, fine. By the way, Gramps wants me to give you this. So with that, guys, we obtained a Charmander. Professor Oak sent us a Charmander. What a caring guy. Hmm. An earthquake? The boy dropped down the hole. Blue. Let's go ahead and help out our friend Blue, who apparently has fallen down a hole... Oh, man, what happened, Nurse Joy? Okay, let's go ahead and go after him, then. There is no time to waste here. We're going to go, and we are going to save our friend, because who knows what he has gotten himself into. We are going to go up this ladder. That was the bottom floor, so it makes sense that there is a whole nother area. Huh? Whoa, look, it's Kabuto! Ah! Ugh. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Kabuto. So they are all over the place here. They cannot be that extinct. I think they might have gotten their facts a little bit wrong because I'm seeing quite a bit of them down here, guys. I'm seeing a good bit down here. Make sure if you guys want a Kabuto on your team, 
the, you know, you come down to this place. This is where you were gonna get one. And with that, guys, we have the feet of the Kabuto. Careful, Rodri. I'll save you, sweetie. Ash, Green, you two know each other? I do? Y yes, I do. Tell you more about it later. Let's just get rid of these critters first. Thanks for helping me. No worries. Pikachu and I always help our pals out. What are you doing here, sweetie? Blue fell down a hole, and now I'm here looking for him. What about you two? How did you two get here in the first... Charizard! Fire Blast! Uh, uh, my head! Where's she going? Ah! Ash! Ash, Ash, talk to me, man! Uh, ah! Ash? What the heck is going on? It looks like something is going on with Ash. He definitely didn't look right there. Something is going on here in this place, guys. And I am gonna go ahead and take a wild guess that somehow Green is involved. Green always seems to be involved in these little situations. You know, Green always seems to be here getting herself into trouble. You know, doing sketchy things. So who knows what she's got going. And it's also a little bit strange that Ash got brought into it. What is going on here? I guess we'll figure out more of that as we get going. Let me go ahead and teach our Pokemon strength, though. Good for us. We got our boy, Aquaman, who loves learning strength. You know, Aquaman loves to go out there and do some reps. You know, you got to keep strong. That's all in a day's work as Aquaman. With that, guys, we've gotten ourselves our strength back, and we are good to go. It's so great that you can replace these HMs. That makes this game so much more fun. It would be so freaking difficult. If you truly had to go back and keep deleting moves, or if you even had to go and, you know, uh, just add another Pokemon to swap in and out, I think it's very, very cool that you can just teach it to your normal Pokemon because it's something that, you know, isn't that big. It's just a little move in this. With that, we have made it out of Citron Island. Charizard, fire spin now! Oh, no, it's the Porygon! I'll help Blastoise Water Gun! Huh? No, wait! Urgh. Return! Huh? Blue! Uh, it's so fast! What? Let's just get out of this place, okay? Yeah, Blue's right. So there's something going on between Blue and Green. Definitely more than we know. So we will have to see what that is all about. Let's talk to our boy, Blue. Something doesn't add up. Why would Green do that? She was just trying to help. Get over it, man. Was she just trying to help? Green has had a lot of different motives throughout this adventure. I don't know if she's someone we can truly trust. <gasps> Whoa! Check this out, guys. The moon is red. Huh? It's a red moon. Hey, Gramps, I'm in Citron Island now. I couldn't get any fossil data. Blue, you're in Citron Island now? Get out of there! Elaborate! Tonight's the night of the Red Moon. The island's gonna sink. Why? According to the prophecy, when the scavengers arrive, the moon will glow an angry red. The land itself will vanish and be swallowed by the sea. Red Moon? Everybody, we need to leave this island now! Huh? The island's coming alive! The island's built on fossilized Kabuto fossils. That means the whole island is breaking apart. Wah! Hmm, you're finally awake. I had the scariest dream. We were on this island, all right? There were these little Kabutos. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Green was there, and that little freaky Porygon was there, and then the island sank. Wake up, Rodri. It wasn't a dream. We all somehow managed to drift safely on this little island. Who? It wasn't a dream. Wait a minute. Where's Green and Ash? They're safe. I was left behind to look after you. So Citron Island really did sink. Just like what the prophecy foretold. When the scavengers arrived, the moon would glow an angry red. The land itself shall vanish and swallowed by the sea. Huh. I thought you don't believe in this old tales. Huh. I'm not that stubborn to disregard something that actually happens right before my eyes. How can I say I don't believe it now? I guess the Kabuto might be immortal after all. Come on, we still have a goal ahead of us. One of us is going to be the champion of the Orange League. Huh, I'm not playing loose to you the second time, Rodri. 
I like how you just step right on this random girl. So with that, guys, let's go for a surf, and let's see what we can find on this route. We are finally out of Citroen Island. We found a little bit more about the Kabuto, and it looks like we are, might have a couple trainers here as well. So let's go ahead and get our boy Thor ready for some action, and let's see what we can do. Okay, so she isn't going to be a trainer. Hey, what's up with you, man? Nope, this guy's not going to be a trainer either. Is there a little shelter over here? Oh, that's kind of cool to see. So it looks like there are just a bunch of random people here. So we might be better off surfing elsewhere, truthfully. I don't know where this is going to lead us. We are at Route 14. Let's keep going through Route 14 then and see what we can find here. You know, when you're out in the ocean, the ocean is the limit. You just got to go out there and just explore and see what you can find. You know, once in a while, you might end up finding something that you never truly expected. And we have made our way to land, though. Want to see my wooden sword? Nah, man. You know, we don't want to see anything like that. Ooh, I do see what is over there, though. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the legendary dogs, the legendary beasts, have made their way back to us. Now, last time we snuck up on them, they ran away from us. It's the legendary dogs! Okay, and the second time, they also ran away from us. But with that, we got TMO3 Water Pulse. I don't know, I'd rather have gotten me that Pokemon there. But we have made it to Kino Island. So we are here in Kinnow Island. And let's see what we can find. You know, first things first. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And how is it going, Nurse Joy? Gotta tell you, I haven't heard much about this island. Maybe you could fill me in a little bit, you know. Maybe you could tell me a little bit more about this place. Oh, you guys have a traveler's guide right here. You know, much appreciated, Nurse Joy. You guys have this place really nice, you know, well kept. This is a good, you know, little center. You got a good Pokemon center. You got a good thing going. You know, keep it up. Keep at it. Now, let's go ahead and see what we can find in here. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is Beyonce. Ladies, leave your man at home. The club is full of ball ballers and their pockets full grown. And all you fellas, leave your girl with her friends. Because it's 1130 and the club is jumping, jumping. You guys just heard it right here from Beyonce herself. You know, I can't What can I tell you guys? You know, that's Beyonce right there hitting you with some logic. This is Mason. Take care of Trainer's Precious Pokemon. Ah, oh, cool. So this must be a little bit like a Pokemon daycare here on this island. And that's pretty cool to see. Yeah, there's someone volunteering there as well. You know, it's always good to someone to help out some animals. Good to see some volunteers here on this island. But with that, let's go ahead and see if we can head a little bit further up. <laughs> Watch out! Ugh. Who are you? Someone's trying to kill me. Hey, wait. Who was the person who rescued me? Who were those two people? Who were those two shadows? Why the fudge is one of them throwing boulders at us? What have we done to these people? Why are they so angry at us? So let's go ahead and see what we can find over here. Not a whole lot. This is a pretty strange place. Sometimes you gotta put Boomy in there to just knock out some of those healing Pokemon. Those healing Pokemon are a bit of a pain. So it looks like Route 15 is up ahead. But I want to check out a couple things around here before we do go any further. Because as you guys can see, this route is full of goodies. There are some really, really good things here. And I want to make sure that we pick them up. Seeing that Mawile also has got me thinking about the new Mega Mawile that was released. It's a monster, you know. There's some really cool Megas coming out. I didn't really expect there to be that many more Megas. But, you know, they're going for it. Pokemon's going to be out there putting Megas out. So, you know, we're going to see if we can... You know have some fun with those megas as we do go but let's keep going with these battles so 
so let's go over here and we are gonna need a little bit of that rock smash so let's go ahead and teach our boy aquaman another move aquaman's been getting really you know educated lately he's been learning a lot of good moves good for you aquaman you know good for you talented getting a nice education you know doing what he can do you know, aquaman truly is the man for the job here guys so let's go ahead and teach aquaman rock smash this time and let's push through these rocks because it looks like there is i don't know a little doll or something over there i'm not really sure what it is but there's got to be some significance to this oh are you okay are you lost the little fellow's lost should i take care of it yeah What was that? Okay, cool. So it looks like we're going to be taking care of a little Pokemon. And that's pretty cool. It might have been transferred to the PC as well. So that's something for us to look at next time we are at the Pokemon Center. But with that, guys, we got ourselves a little whatever it was. A little substitute statue. So we'll continue on. Let's see what we can find around here. We did beat a couple trainers. And we are at Route 15. What challenges await us here in Route 14? That's for us to find out. So let's go for a little surf then. Back into the water we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have been doing a lot of surfing lately. I see a little slowpoke over there. What could this place be? And where could we be going? We got ourselves some remorades around here. So this is going to lead us to another island? Or are we making our way to like a challenge or something? You know, that is part of the adventure. Getting a little lost, you know? You got to get lost once in a while. If you guys ever go and explore a place that you don't know much about, you know, get a little lost, you know? Go have a little fun. You know, that's what you got to do. The orange acapella was too hot. I mean, look at me. I need to strip down into my underwear. Yeah. Heh. <laughs> You starting to stand for a long time. I guess you like what you're seeing. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and see what else we can find. Who is this? Hello, I'm training to be a nurse. Right now, my duty is to make sure this meowth is in perfect health. Okay, cool. So there is a little nurse joy in training over there. Hey, how's it going with you? Oh, okay. So that is my. She said, "I love my harpies." That's my Valentine from Yu-Gi-Oh. I've been noticing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh references in this. Do we know Rudy from Trevito Island? No, we don't know Rudy from Trevito Island. Who the heck is Rudy from Trevito Island, man? Are we going to meet him eventually? All right. Well, I guess, you know, there's another name that we can add to the list. And thank you so much, man. This guy just healed up our Pokemon. So if you guys need your Pokemon healed, wait, what the fudge? Did this guy not say he was going to heal my Pokemon? What the heck is going on here? He just KO'd like three of my Pokemon by himself. This guy is not the best healer. All right, don't come over here to this guy. He's just going to end up knocking some of your Pokemon out with some poison. And that is freaking fantastic. Okay. Why would they even put this in there? That didn't help out at all. That just messed us up. Oh, okay, I'm getting out of here, you know? That's why you can't trust anyone that isn't Nurse Joy. That's really how it's going to go here on this island. But well, let's keep going out of Route 15. I think that's all there is here so not that much to do and let's go surfing towards the east see if we can find some land over here in the east got ourselves a little cave you know if you do find a little cave you got to take a step inside this is fukai cave what the heck is fukai cave okay i gotta run down here you know i'm a little bit curious i'm one of those people that once you find a cave you gotta go in there and explore it you gotta go in there and see what you can find and during this hack we have found so many rare things that it's definitely worth a go help we finally found you santa now hand over that jinx it is illegal oh uh, never what's wrong officer jenny that man is raising an illegal Pokemon. What, a Jinx? You have to help me, boy. They're going to kill my Jinx. I don't care if you're the police. I'm not going to stand by and let you harm any Pokemon. And you know what? Our boy is definitely right about that. So let's go ahead and take on Officer Jenny. Who would have thought we would be battling Officer Jenny, guys? I certainly didn't. And you can definitely tell with how our team is. 
especially after that guy poisoned our Pokemon. So something tells me that guy knew we were going to come down here and try to save some Pokemon. So that is something that we are going to have to figure out. So let's go ahead and start packing some punches. This Kingdra is powering up, and that is not something that I like to see. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Thor, and let's start KOing some of these Pokemon. Now Thor should be able to handle them. Oh boy, here we go. We got to tank out a Dragon Pulse. This is going to be great. At least we are level 61. So the good thing is that this training has been paying off. We've been battling a bunch of people. We've gained some major XP. And, you know, the more XP, the better. That Kingdra is almost down. But I know how these Officer Jennies battle. I've been getting the hang of this. So I'm going to go for another Thunder. And there you go. They're going to have a bunch of full restores ready for you to come out and, and hit them with some big moves. So just be on the lookout for them, guys. All these trainers love using full restores here in the post game, And, you know, it makes sense. So let's go for the Thunder. This Kingdra has been out here long enough. Come on, Thor. Give me a little, little kick. A little something. This Pokemon just needs to go down. I'm hitting him with this Quick Attack. If I stay up and they don't go for that full restore, I will be taking it down with that Quick Attack. So with that, guys, the Kingdra has gone down. And it's a good thing that our Thor is gaining a bunch of speed ups. Next up is a Dawn fan. All right, well, let's go send out Aquaman. And let's see what you can do over here, Aquaman. We are going to be going up against a Dawn fan, level 58. Haven't really seen any Pokemon like that in a while, truthfully. Pretty cool to see some Pokemon that, you know, you don't usually see that often out here. And with that, we hit a crit. That was a nice crit for us to hit as well. This guy has Giga Impact. So that's going to do a little more damage. Then I thought we're going to go for our dynamic punch, though. And let's see if we can knock out this Dawn fan. That oh, no. Come on. Come on. It's confused. Knock itself out. Okay. We need to go for another Brick, Brick, Breakity. Brick, 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 Breakity. And with that, the full restore is coming out. So we've been putting a little bit of a tough position here, I would say. Let's go for that Brick, Brick, Breakity, Aquaman. And, you know, we're going to do what we can do, guys. We're going to keep going for the Brick, Brick, Breakity because Aquaman can do this. We are almost there. I think just about one more should do it. We just got to hold out for the Giga Impact, which is going to make it recharge. So I think this time around, we hopefully should have it in the bag. Go down, Dolphin! Oh, my goodness. It's recharging. Please tell me this. Okay, there is no more full restores in this battle. We're good. This battle is clean now. So let's go ahead and finish up the last of... Officer Jenny's Pokemon. A Breloom is going to be coming out. And it is... Oh, man. My boy, Zuko Jr. He is so low. I'm going to have to use a full restore on him to be able to defeat these Pokemon. So, Zuko Jr., let's see what you can do, man. We got Breloom level 58 as well. I'm going to go for the flamethrower. Yeah, we're going to risk it for the biscuit. You guys know that, that's what I'm going to do. I trust in Zuko Jr. as well since we are going to be super effective on it. And so far, so good. Let's see what else Officer Jenny has coming out. So it's going to be a Gengar. I can switch things up a little bit for the Gengar. But you know what? We're going to trust in our boy. And let's see what Zuko Jr. can do. Now, I do have a full restore. So let me go ahead and use that full restore on Zuko Jr. Would have been so nice to heal up Soul and Rocky before this battle. But, you know, that's sometimes how it goes in life. You're going to have battles pop up when you least expect them. And you're not going to have all the Pokemon that you need with you. But regardless... You're going to have to step up to the chase, and you're going to have to go out there and win that battle. So that's what we're going to do. You know, that's what life is all about. So come on, Zuko Jr. Hit some big flamethrowers for us. And there we go. One more flamethrower just like that, and we should be good. And area dose is going to be last, so I think we should have this in the bag, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for our flamethrower, and let's see if we can take down Officer Jenny's last Pokemon. She has been pretty tough, you know? What can I say? With that super effective, Area Dose is down. And it looks like we have done it. Zuko Jr. is going to get a bunch of XP. We defeated Officer Jenny. You dare in the field with the authority. You're going to get it. We got 13,216 for winning. Hurry, let's get out of here. Thank you. Please take me to Ice Island. I will be safe there. Okay. Where is Ice Island? And where did everybody go? Why am I the only one left inside of here? Why do people always leave me in these places? Why is nobody ever trying to help us out? You know, that, well, what is going on, guys? They never think about us. They just go and, you know, we're sitting here fixing their problems. You know, we're out here helping their cities, saving their Pokemon. And, you know, they can't even help us out of this cave. But it looks like we need to keep going now. So where in the heck do we go and find Ice Island?
Okay, guys, so I think I figured it out, and we have arrived in Key Lime Island. So I went around the other side, the opposite of the cave, and it looks like we have made it. I will never let go. Okay, there is definitely something going on. We have found a Pokemon Center, though. So next time, we will be continuing on from here on Key Lime Island. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. Go ahead and click that like button. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.